Now in this part of the question, we're asked to express 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x in the form r cos 2x minus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is an angle that lies between 0 and 90 degrees, an acute angle in other words. Now, questions like this occur quite often in the papers. And this particular expression here is of the form that we call a cos theta plus b sine theta. And you should be familiar with expressions like this. This is identical to r cos of theta, put that in brackets, minus alpha, where r is always equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared and alpha is equal to the inverse tan of b over a or you could say tan alpha equals b over a and this is a result that you should try and learn and there's similar expressions to this, okay, with exactly the same kind of results. And if you're unsure of these and you're looking at this video on my website, then you'll see a link at the bottom of this video to tutorials on this particular topic. Okay, so how does this fit into what we're doing here? Well, we've got this kind of expression, only the theta is the 2x. All right. So what we can do then is start off by saying that 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x okay, is identical to a cos 2x plus b sine 2x. So you can see what a and b are. We can see that a is equal to the 4 and b is equal to the 3 when we compare the two expressions. So therefore, by what we have over here, r will be equal to the square root then of a squared plus b squared. So in other words, the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. Work that out and we've got 16 plus 9, 25, square root of 25 then, which is 5. And as for alpha, alpha is the inverse tan of b over a, so we'll just say also alpha equals the inverse tan of b over a, so that's going to be 3 over 4 in this example, inverse tan of 3 quarters. Make sure your calculator now is in degrees mode. All right. So if we do that, you should find that you get 36.8698 and so on. Okay, and we're asked to give alpha to two decimal places, so that's going to be 36.87 degrees. We'll just put in there to 2dp. So, what does this mean now? Well, we can summarize by saying that 4 cos 2x plus 3 sine 2x, 4 cos 2x, plus 3 sine 2x is identical to r, r being the 5 and then we have the cosine in brackets of 2x minus alpha 2x minus alpha but alpha is 36.87 degrees so we've got the cosine of 2x minus 36.87 degrees and there you have it.